Greetings, your king is here. It's your boy Regisorex. Are you like a dinosaur, Tyron Tyrannosaurus Rex? This is probably the other unhinged YouTuber that does Genshin Impact. Oh, Star Rail. Wow, educational content. How to pronounce Genshin character names? How to pronounce Genshin character names? Part one. Number five. Candice. Candice, nuts in your mouth. Oh! No, not Kendake or whatever the fuck. You illiterate crack gets collar. If it was pronounced <laughs> Kandake, there'd be a K in her name. Learn English. Number four, Yelan. Not Yelan. Who? No one pronounces Kandake. Fuck. Yelan, okay? Stop pronouncing her name as if she was related to Kanye West. Number three. Okay, if it's Chinese, it's Yelan. I'm from Li Yue in real life. Number three. Baichu. You pronounce it like Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu. And you guys sound cute when you do the two part. Number two. Ah, what? <laughs> Two. Zhong Li. Not Zhong Li or Zhong Le Dongo. Put your ding dong in my wonton. Huh? It's John. John Li. Wait, there's no number one. Oh, was that number one? Wait, I I can't count. Let's actually look at his most famous video. 1.8 million views. This is the stupidest feature they've added in Genshin Impact's mm. latest update. And I'm talking about the feature where our characters do a cool little jump when they come out of the water. And you might be wondering, why is it stupid? Well, maybe it's because only Fontaine characters can do it. And I'm my Kokomi. <laughs> <gasps> Look at that among us. I mean that's true. Why doesn't Kokomi jump up and down? She's probably more wet than a normal human. Who's got the fattest cake in Genshin Impact? Huh? Now we all know different characters come in many shapes and sizes with their own unique recipe. So who <laughs> actually holds the record? Is Eula. it the cryo queen who yes. seeks vengeance? Or is it the girl that could cut your balls off with some shrink? Huh? Or maybe it's the guy who is that Yelan? Drops rocks from the sky, giving mm -hmm. little kids brain damage until the day they die. Well, I'm here to tell you it's neither of them. The it's, character with the fattest your mom? Genshin Impact is actually Madame Pink. With her 84 years <gasps> of being on this planet, I'm sure she has baked many times. Like if she offered me a slice, I'd gladly devour her huh? 84 year old cake. Who's got- huh? His inner demons are at it again. Just because he makes like sounds like this. That's not mean he has one inside of him, okay? Signora is finally coming to Genshin Impact. I mean, As we all know, Signora has been a long-awaited character. I mean, there's people who've been waiting since late 2020. Mm. And here we are, three years later, we are finally getting a piece of her cake. In version huh? 4.3, Signora will be a playable TCG card. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the crazy Signora mains start playing TCG religiously. Cause I know if they removed Yelan and made her a TCG card, I would play it. Nah, I'm just joking. Fuck TCG. And fuck you all. Now the ears coming out and I wanna come in her mouth. Signora <laughs> is fu- What the- What the- What the- Wait, 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 wait. 4.3 characters you need to pull for. Starting off, we have Navia. The highlight of the version and my life is finally coming. And you know who else mm -hmm. is coming? My compliment <laughs> that I bought off AliExpress. What? Next up, Ayaka. Should you pull for her? Absolutely not. Unless we have Japanese girls who can fit 16 inch mushroom pizzas on their forehead. Next on the list. Hey, that's important. This is purple hair single mother. Unless you're pulling what? for her weapon or you have at least an R5 catch, save your Why? primos and save her from using your nasty ass oh dragon pit. Last but not Wait, that's the good shit. Be Chevrolet. She seems pretty oh, cool. But if you try to put your Numa in her Uisia, you might see Celestia. New new more into her Osia. That's that's another way of saying it. Okay, okay. This guy's very creative. If you guys don't have Raiden, you should get her. I think Raiden is still good. Navia was fun, but I don't think Navia is a must pull. If you play Star Rail, I bet mm. there's one thing that you don't know, and that's how to pronounce this girl's name. Oh wait, another <laughs> pronunciation video. <laughs> like people were making fun of me for calling her. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, wait. But I bet you don't know how to pronounce her name either, you hypocritical quadrilateral bitch. Cause if you did, you wouldn't be watching this video. As a matter of fact, if you can pronounce her name properly, I'll kiss you on the lips. Ew. But if you don't, then I'll send a homeless man to come and molest you. Huh? If you ho, 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 ho. It's something like ho, ho. It, Actually, the first ho and the second ho is like different Chinese letters. 
from what I know. Top 5 Most Traumatized Genshin Characters Number 5, Bennett. I don't think many of you know his backstory, mm, but true. as a kid, Bennett was abandoned by his parents in what was considered a hell of a place. Now, we don't actually know where or what this place is. Mm. I mean, for all we know, it could have been kindergarten. I mean, I remember it was hell for me, because there was this bitch named Camilla who wouldn't shut <laughs> the fuck up about Cheetah. What? Who, who the heck's Camilla? <laughs> Nobody plays this game mode anymore in Genshin Impact. Mm. Now, for those new players who might not know what it is or you forgot, TCG is a card game you can play inside of Genshin. And it was cool at first. We even had a whole ass event for it. But over time, it just became irrelevant. Like, I doubt you will find any videos or streamers playing or making content for that game mode as of December 2023. As a matter of fact, if you find me someone who still mm. plays TCG, I will shove a 12 inch cucumber up my. Mm. I do play like time to time. The newer cards are hard to use, like, I never use the newer cards. If there was one character that I can only use for the rest of my life, it's got to be on you. And wow. I know she may be boring, but she gets a job done. She what? was there to liberate Dan Hang from Li Yue and shoot sticks at Dan the Almighty what? Hogan. Yeah, that bitch a hoe. Cause who abandons <laughs> their kid? Anyways, Ganyu is for life. Happy Becky Pookie. I love your titty milk. What? People with these names in Genshin Impact need to be stopped. Like seriously, people mm -hmm. who name themselves Use Danny the in Genshin need to seek therapy or jail. Like first of all, no one's gonna want to befriend someone named Daddy. As a matter of fact, if I see someone named Daddy, you're mm. getting recorded because you're probably a creep with no bitches befriending people half your age. Which uh, is fine, I'm not saying true. you can't be friends with people younger than you. But if you're gonna name yourself Daddy and interact with people younger than you, I don't know man, that's kinda weird. All I'm true. saying is if I ever check my 10 year old daughter's friends list and I see someone named Daddy. You have a 10 year old daughter. Yeah, and it's not her biological father, aka me. I'm finna find you and beat your ass. <laughs> I don't have anyone named Daddy, my friend. You know, Daddy, and then it will be a chilled main. Ugh. Okay, okay, guys, this guy isn't that unhinged. There's only one like unhinged moment in every shot. That's not that that bad, okay, guys. We are being scammed in Genshin Impact. <gasps> usually, when you buy the premium battle pass, the one that costs like two times more, there's usually some kind of small discount. So tell me why Hoyoverse crossed out the price on this one, but instead mm. of making it cheaper, they <laughs> made it more what? expensive. Like, this ain't no discount. The only thing being what? discounted is my world of live make me pay <laughs> five more. You are. We are being scammed. <laughs> you are. She is finally here in Genshin Impact. The duck woman who retains the clouds and the woman who saved Shen He from the orphanage asked Lee was about to blow it up. Huh? Xiang Yun, cloud retainer in her milk form, is taking the stage in version 4.4 along with gaming. And honestly, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about gaming. But Xian Yun, my god, honey, I'll clap her cheeks so hard that she turns back into a cow. What? That is not a cow. Game. <laughs> I didn't know Klee had this hidden story. Klee was the one who made Shen her. Yeah, I think we've seen enough. Honestly, he's not that bad. He doesn't update as much as I want him to, actually. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Go and check out your boy Yeji Sorex. Freaking dinosaur ass name. But...